Each summer for more than 20 years, we have, in conjunction with several other organizations, sponsored a workshop for talented young high school students. They spend a couple of weeks with us and learn the ins and outs of the industry. The 2012 Multicultural Journalism Workshop here at NBC7 San Diego is sponsored by the California Chicano News Media Association, the Union Tribune, Point Loma Nazarene University, and KPBS. After two weeks with producers, anchors, editors, photographers, and reporters, these high school students produce their own newscast. Here now is their work. Recent budget cuts in education are taking their toll on a local teacher. High Tide News' Kelsey Miller is here with more. Thanks, Mitch. In Scripps Ranch, a laid-off music teacher at Marshall Middle School continues to be hopeful, but the possibility of losing her job is hard for her and her loyal students to face. That's an energy! She brings music to their lives, but teacher Catherine Gervin is now laid off. She's hopeful, though, that she will get to keep her job now that 17 music teachers have been rehired. Hallelujah! Besides teaching choir, Gervin also directs a summer musical camp where all kids, including those from her choir, are welcome to participate. The kids this summer are working on high school musical, too. They are desperate for Miss Gervin to stay. She really does bring music and joy to our hearts. And because I personally look forward to choir every day. When I don't have choir, I get really sad. For the state legislators <laughs> up there, we respect you, but please, please pass that bill so we can have all our teachers back. They bring joy to our life. The budget for California is still uncertain. So the $36 million that could be used to rehire hundreds of teachers is up in the air. But it is a glimmer of hope for Gervin. If I'm not one of them that's called back, you know, in a month or so, people will start bidding on my job. Lots of attitude. The future of her current job is unknown, but Gervin can't wait forever. She may have to start looking for a new job soon. There's a line in this musical where a student says, I hate to think that this is goodbye. For this teacher and these students, no words ring any truer. I can't wait till the first day of school, because by then all the other jobs are gone. She's the person who I look up to every day, and if I see her gone, there's nothing. You are the music in me. Find your note. Now, with or without the final numbers from the state, the district's budget is due into the county office of education by the end of the month. Meanwhile, teachers will have to wait until they're rehired or let go to find a different job. Kelsey Miller, High Tide News. Thank you, Kelsey. Well, that does it for this edition of the High Tide News on NBC7 San Diego. Thank you for joining us, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. And we'd also like to thank all of our advisors and the entire NBC7 San Diego staff for helping us put together this newscast.